Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff for Guys. We're gonna do a quick check on the cruise control. I just turned it off and we're coming up to a, I just set cruise control. It's set at 40 miles an hour. And we're coming up to a red light here, which is kind of hard to see, but I am not touching any of the controls. And it is full on braking and actually will bring the car to a complete stop. Okay, see now it just actually canceled the cruise control. I've never actually brought it to zero. So it seemed like at about 10 miles an hour, it, uh, it, it turned off cruise control. But what's great is, is when we do set cruise control, let's see if we can do it. Oh, we're not moving. Hold on one second. Here we go. So we're going to accelerate a little bit. We'll set cruise control. Now you see we've got three bars in front of us, and you can actually see there's a car in front of us as well. Now with a button on the, crew, on the steering wheel, we can set, change the following distance. See, so I just changed it from three bars to one bars, and then I'm gonna kick the speed way up. If we just hold it, it, it goes in five mile an hour increments. And then if you push it singly, it goes in one mile an hour increments. So we're gonna accelerate back up until we got this guy back in front of us. Actually, I'll kick it up a little bit. I don't see the popo around. So when I'm pressing the accelerator, it, uh, it flashes. So now I've stopped pressing the accelerator, 50 miles an hour is back on. It sees the car in front of us, as you can see there. And now if we get too close, it will automatically apply the brakes to slow us down for like a, a collision avoidance. So the cruise control is great. If you had a couple cocktails, it's a must on the way home from the bar, and, uh, and on long trips too. It's, it's, it's a great little feature. And uh, check it out yourself, see how you like it, and uh, good times. Thanks for uh, watching. Have a good one.